Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the chorus effect in the St. James plugin to get a big, wide guitar sound. So I'm gonna be using two different sounds today with this plugin. I'm gonna be using a more British kind of higher gain crunch with the EL34 amp, and I'm gonna be using a much higher gain sound with the 6L6 amp. I'm also using two different cabinets in cab rig. I've got the Artisan 30 panned left and the St. James 2x12 panned right. So the sounds are just really basic, good rock sounds that you're gonna use for hard rock, classic rock, and the beginnings of metal. But this trick is showing you how to make these even bigger. And this is a really cool trick you can use while recording at home to make your guitar have a double tracked guitar quality without having to double track. And what we're gonna be using is this chorus effect right here. So the EL34 sound that I got dialed in is this. Just a great classic rock kind of sound, and the 6R6 sound is this. So that is not quite a high gain metal tone, but there's quite a lot of gain that's great for a hard rock or kind of classic heavy metal sound. Now what we're gonna be doing is using the chorus pedal to make this even wider. Now what you don't wanna do is just turn the chorus pedal on like this because chorus is a modulation effect. And when you use a modulation effect really strongly, this happens. <laughs> Now that sounds okay for certain applications and where that actually works really great in my opinion is if you're playing lead guitar. That's great for 80s lead guitar sounds but it's not a sound that everyone wants to use. So what we want to do is we want to use the chorus to subtly widen and thicken our existing rhythm tones. So to do that, we need to first work out what each of the three parameters is doing in relation to our sound. So the speed on the chorus is the overall rate that the effect works. So if we turn this all the way up, we get a really extreme sound. <laughs> which is what we don't want in this instance. So that one we're not gonna be pushing to the extreme. The depth is how much the chorus modulates. So a higher depth sounds like this. Again, it's quite extreme, so we don't really want that. And the width is how wide the effect is. So on wider settings, it sounds like this. That is exactly what we want. So the width, we're gonna to set to taste, but for argument's sake, I'm gonna put it to full here because we want a really wide sound. Now the depth and the speed, we wanna keep these low, but we don't wanna turn them all the way off. So the speed control, we wanna be very careful with. We don't wanna turn it all the way off, but what we do wanna do is create this kind of double tracking sound. And what we wanna do here is keep this somewhere between 0.1 and about 0.5 in the top corner, you can see the value here. So somewhere around about that, if you want a little bit more of an audible sound where you can kind of hear the double track in, you can maybe go up to 0.7, 0.8, but I wouldn't go anywhere above one. That is the point where it kind of becomes more of a chorusing effect. So I'm gonna start with this just on 0.5. And then the depth, again, we can kind of set this to taste in line with how much we want that double tracking effect to be present. So again, I'm gonna kind of keep that on 0.5. So these two controls are very low. The width is on full. Now what that's gonna do for my tone is it's gonna widen it and also it's gonna give it a little bit more focus. So it's gonna remove a little bit of the low end, give a little bit more attack, but we're gonna get this additional width to the sound. So without the chorus. And with. Now it's subtle, but the width is there. It does create that extra width. So 
So if you want more of the audible double tracking, I would push the speed up a little bit and the depth up a little bit, just so it kind of brings the effect in a bit more. Now, with the more audible double track sounds, that actually works great if you're playing big ringing open chords like that, because that little shimmer that it adds actually really does thicken up the chords. Where you want to be extra careful with this is if you're playing something that you want really, really tight. Because if you're playing a single note tightly, that's where you're gonna to start to hear the wavering slightly, but on a big chord, you're not really gonna hear it as much. Now, I'm just gonna turn these up just a little bit more, more than I would recommend doing, just to show you what happens when I play a single note. You can hear the chorusing a lot more there. Now, we don't want to hear the chorusing as much as we want to just feel that extra width, which is why I recommend kind of staying below the one threshold. This also works great when we play with a high gain sound. So I'm gonna go over to the 6L6 amp now, and I'm just gonna put these settings back to both of those on 0.5 and the width still on 10. Off, we've got that sound you heard earlier. Now with this on, it's gonna give us a little bit more focus and a slightly fatter and wider sound. It's when you're playing really tight stuff like that that you don't want the really obvious chorusing effects. Let me just turn these up a little bit more and show you. You can almost hear the guitar sound wavering slightly there. So again, when you're playing tight, high gain stuff, you wanna keep this really, really low. Again, it's a subtle effect, but what it does is it shaves off the low end slightly and adds a little bit of focus. But it gives your guitar sound that width. Now you don't have to set the width completely extreme like I've done there. I just really wanted this to be super wide. You can really bring that in and have the width as much as you want it. Keep these two settings low, but experiment with them and make it work for your own sound. But that is how you use the chorus effect to take an already great sounding rock tone, make it a little bit wider and fatter. Let me know down below in the comments how you got on with doing this, and if you've used similar tricks to make your guitar wider, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing as well. If there's anything you'd like to see us doing with the St. James software, please let us know down below in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the Black Star Amplification YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. If you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, head on over to musicteacher.com. It's a great network of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you very soon.